And one of these, I guess that I could should say today is one of those days. We're yeah. happy that we're indoors because those I'm people good. have to work outside. You, your I heart know. feels for that. Exactly right. And it's going to get worse later on this week, as we'll hear in a minute from Ben. But let's get to Jamie Edmonds uh, with a look at how those folks are coping right now. Jamie. Hey there, Devin. You know, you mentioned top of the show. Some businesses, schools were closed. Well, some businesses, of course, stayed open today, and we wanted to go talk to workers and see how they're dealing with all of this. The dogs seem to be having the time of their lives, but Cecilia Perry of K9 to 5 says they have to be careful. Yeah, you got your northern breeds that are, you know, more they you know enjoy the snow and it's funny you'll see like huskies and stuff running around in the play yard and stuff like that um but they all get cold eventually so we try to just do potty break in weather like this they don't close up shop come on guys it's cold let's go come on let's go let's go quite the opposite but they do limit the amount of time the dogs are outside so we do more activities inside like today for instance with our small dogs we brought snow into them so then that way they could be in the warmer building with and still get to experience the snow. Christian Phillips of Chris's sewer inspection is on the job today. The house trap, the way this is set up, this Y, I can't flip through it. To flip a house trap, I gotta be right on top of it. He says plumbing issues never take a break and calls have been coming in all day. Snaking sewers outside. Phillips says he knows temperatures will be below zero this week and for his jobs that are mainly outside, he plans to layer up. Wear long johns, all the coats, gloves, keep extra hats, spare gloves because you get wet. It never really stops. You just do your best to stay warm and get it done efficiently. Now that's some good advice from Christian for anybody who happens to be working outside this week. Temperatures will not be above zero. Wind chill actually will not be above zero until Friday. I talked to our Dr. McGeorge and he said that if it's minus 20 feels like it frostbite happens in 30 minutes minus 30 it's 10 minutes so you have to layer up.